welcome back to my channel. Today we are back at my dinner table. We are doing a Korean blue crab um, and other seafood soup. I'm so excited. I found this package at H Mart. Everything you needed was in the package, including all the seafood and the soup base. All you needed to do was put everything in boiling water. So I'm really excited. You can eat this with a side of white rice or you can eat it with ramen noodles. I wanted to eat it alone today so I really could taste out the soup since it is my first time trying it. Um, there's blue crab in here, there's mussels, there's octopus, there's, um, what else is in here? Oh my gosh, it's like so much. There's enoki mushrooms, I put some water spinach in here, there's abalone. Of course, you can also buy additional seafood that you like and add it into it. Um, I think the more you add, the more you do have to kind of reseason it a little bit to your tasting. Um, so I added a little bit of Vietnamese fish sauce because I wanted it to be a little bit more salty. So. Let's get started because I'm very, very excited to try this out. I'm gonna go ahead and try a little bit of the broth. Oh my gosh. Wait, that's awesome. This tastes just like um, the soup that I get at um, uh, what is it? Eight Korean barbecue, eight pork. I'll link that video down below for you guys. That is the only reason I go to that place is they have like amazing pork belly. Um, but they also serve you this seafood uh, soup. Mmm. Wow, this makes me so happy, you guys. Now I can make it at home. I'll try to find it online. If you are by an H Mart, they definitely have it. It's in the seafood section. Um, oh, you can also add Napa cabbage into here. I wanna go in with a blue crab. Also, I'm using a new camera. It is very different from the usual camera that I use in, my, um, in our filming studio setup in our room. It's more aesthetically pleasing, so I don't know. Um, I'm still trying to play with it a little bit, so I don't think right now I'm like at the best setting, so I will continue to work on it. I do apologize if you don't like this. I will try my best to better the quality for you guys. We have blue crab here. Oh man, oh my gosh. All of the all of the broth got sucked into the blue crab meat and it is delicious. Mmm. Oh my gosh. The shells are so soft. Mm. It's very, um, man, how do I explain this? We got little clams here. Oh, that hits the spot, man. That's so good. Wow. Mm. It's not too spicy. Nice kick to it. Mm. 
You definitely can taste all the seafood in there. If you're not a seafood person, I wouldn't suggest. <laughs> Mm. Oh, let me scooch closer. The mussels are nice. We have an octopus here. Now, of course, I'm not going to finish this whole thing, you guys, but the beautiful thing is I can save it. I'm having a hard time explaining how, what this tastes like. So if you've ever had a Korean spicy seafood soup, can you please explain it in the comments down below? <laughs> it's like salty. <laughs> it's got this really nice... In a way, kind of like, it kind of tastes like chicken noodle soup. I am having a hard time explaining this. I'm on the struggle bus right now, you guys. Mmm. Mmm. Well, I can compare it to soybean soup, but if you've never had that either, that'll be hard. Has to be something that we've all had. Mmm. So good. Um, really good for cold weather it's getting a little bit cold here so i guess that kind of counts to drink today i have some soy milk this is i get this at the vietnamese market i love it it comes in these i don't know why drinking stuff out of these little things make me so happy it brings out the kid in me this has the soy milk has less sugar so it's like the perfect amount. It's not too sweet. Mmm. We have some blue cap here. Mmm. Literally all the meat falls out. Excuse me. I remember putting. Do you guys not remember me putting a big clam in? Oh, we got a muscle. Mmm. Mmm. We have some surf clams. Ooh, those are nice and sweet. Have you guys ever had surf clams before? My first time having surf clams was last week. <laughs> I'm always excited to try new things. I saw it at H Mart. And I was like, what are those? Mm. A bowl of rice with this would be amazing.
found the big clam that I was looking for. I love certain types of dishes that make you sweat. When I sweat, I always get all the sweat on the tip of my nose and I can feel it right now. I wish in California we had all seasons, which we kind of do. <laughs> what I mean by that is when I grew up on the East Coast, I got to experience all four seasons, like really physically see the seasons change. And I don't really get that here in Southern California. It feels like we only have one season, which is summer. And then it gets kind of chilly in the fall and winter time, like, excuse me, um, like, what is it? Sometimes at 60 degrees, it's really cold here to some people. <laughs> but that's like a really nice spring day in the East Coast. And I also really miss, I really miss the leaves changing colors. And oh, I miss snow. And I know that it's not always guaranteed on Christmas day that we're gonna get snow, but dang. I did experience like a white Christmas day. I remember like opening my window and there was just snow everywhere and it's just so beautiful and magical. Hmm. I love octopus legs. <laughs> I don't like the head too much. This is nice and relaxing. Mm. Mm. Speaking of holidays, what are you guys doing for Halloween? Halloween isn't like my favorite holiday. I do love the month of October just cause, um, well, it's my birthday. <laughs> um, I love Christmas. I would have to say Christmas takes the number one spot. Let me know down below what your favorite holidays are. You guys, I'm so excited for Christmas. To put the tree up, the lights. That's gonna be fun. I also just love, um, I love buying stuff for people. I'm like a, I'm a gifter. I don't know if you guys have those people in your life. They just show up with presents for no freaking reason whatsoever. I'm that person. I love, love giving gifts. So that's probably why Christmas is one of my favorite holidays or actually my favorite holiday. I love Christmas. For Halloween this year, I don't think we're doing anything on Halloween. But this weekend, this weekend, me, Michelle, Carlos, and a bunch of our friends, we're dressing up and we're going out. We're just gonna go downtown and just go to the bars and hang out. 
And Michelle and I are dressing in similar costumes, which I'm so excited about. Friends, thank you so much for joining me today for this very super sweet to the point mukbang. I hope you guys get a chance to try this at home. I will try my best to find the package online. Hopefully it's on Amazon so you guys can order it and try it at home. It's so easy, you guys. It comes in a box, a little box. All the seafood is in there and then it comes with um, a container or a little pouch of sauce. You just gotta put the seafood in boiling water and then the sauce in, and then you can add additional vegetables. I would add, you can add zucchini, is great, Napa cabbage, bok choy, um, bean sprouts, water spinach, mushrooms, enoki mushrooms. Such a great way to enjoy it during a very, very cold environment. <laughs> so I will try to find it down below for you guys. It actually made me really, really hot. I'm low-key sweating right now. But this was absolutely delicious. You can share with your friends and family. You can save it for later. You can eat it with white rice. You can eat it with noodles. There's just so many things that you can do with this. It's so good. I do like this on the side whenever I eat Korean barbecue. It's such a nice way to kind of like have a little bit of uh, liquid from eating all the pork belly. So... Anywho, you guys, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've tried this or if you're really, really excited to. Again, I will try to link everything down below for you guys. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to my other channel and follow me on Instagram. I will see you back here tomorrow afternoon. Thanks, you guys. I'll see you then. I love you. Bye-bye.